Hey, what's up guys and girls? Welcome back to Savage Gaming and episode 2 of Build It. And today I'm going to show you guys how to build a fence or the various ways of building it and what's the best way and what's uh, the not so best way. So the first way of doing it is most guys will just get um, uh, fence foundations and just lay them down as such. The problem with this is once you start putting your fences down, you'll see that they are different levels and that carries through even when you stack. Um, so that, that, that's a bit of an issue, so it's not going to look nice, especially if you're going over long distances, unless that's the look you want to go for. Um, the other one is fence, um, uh, metal fence support. Um, I suggest obviously doing this stuff in stone, at least guys, don't do it in wood, because if dinos break it or whatever, it's gone. So that's basically this little jimmy here. It is a little bit finicky, unfortunately. Um, I found it's very hard to get your, your placements right. You just have to sort of stand at an angle like this and cycle through your snap points and you should be able to get it right there we go all nice and done but what this will basically do so we're basically on the slope again like this and if we place now if we place our fences you will see that they are the exact same height so now you've got a fence that even when the ground's uneven it is the same height at the top so it's going to look a lot neater as well and obviously you can do this with walls as well and then the final way of doing it um, if you want something that looks a bit more bulky and beefy, uh, you know, like a big wall for your base, just uh, uh, slap some foundations down um, and then use that and then obviously just go with your ceilings. So put a few ceilings out there and then obviously put pillar support in if you need to and so on and so forth, depending on how long you go. And then just place all your, your, um, uh, your walls and things down and then you're going to have a nice uh, even top as well so it'll be similar to like the fence supports here it'll be a nice even top and then just close both sides now i like to build this way and the reason for that is i can actually uh, use this sort of one width uh, tile to to basically just let me pick this one up quickly can we pick this one up or let me pick you up no okay um, so basically the nice thing is yeah, you can run electrical cables in here You can run plumbing in there. So it'll be all nicely hidden away Especially if you're not using S plus or something like that uh, where you can hide things This is a nice way. It looks good. It's tough. It can handle in most dinosaurs I think the only one that can really damage is a titanosaur if I'm not mistaken I'll have to double check that but that's gonna look a lot nicer It's gonna take a little bit more time a lot more resources as well, but it is going to give you a good look um, at the end of the day, but if you just look into like how some overs or snails or something then uh, the fence supports work really well and Also, uh, you can use the foundations if the ground is flat enough for you as well Or if you don't mind seeing the different levels in the, at the top and it looks a bit wonky But that's it guys. That's how you build your fences in arc. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope uh, uh, it Taught you something and if it did please leave a like and please subscribe if you want to see more guys and as usual I'll see you on the next one Cheers.